Hallelujah, everybody. I am Pastor DeAndre Davenport of Spirit and Truth House of Worship. And a couple weeks ago, we started a series on the teaching of Spirit and Truth and about being a true worshiper. First, we talked about truth. Truth is His commandments, and the commandments is His word. That we talked about the fruits of the Spirit, which you can find in Galatians 5:22. We also talked about being connected to the true vine, and talking about the fruits that the, uh, the fruit that the tree will bear. So that that gave us an understanding of the lifestyle of walking in Spirit and Truth. Now, this is going to be another part, which leads into another series of teaching. We talked about the fruit of the Spirit. Now we're going to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Once you're connected to the tree like you should and walk in the spirit of truth, you will find that there's gifts that Yahweh has given us to flow by His Spirit. Now, this is going to be actually found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 through 10. Now, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, okay? And I want to read it to you. And it reads, as I'm looking down, just know that I'm reading the scripture, okay? All right. It says, for one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the workings of miracles, to another prophecy, to another designing of spirits, different kinds of tongues, and the interpretation of tongues. Those are the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I'll just say it without reading the whole scripture. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, faith, gifts of healing, work of the miracles, prophecy, desire of the spirit, different kinds of tongues, and interpretations of tongues. Okay. So we're going to look at the first one. Let's look at word of wisdom. Okay. Now, I'm going to read, read some of my notes that I put down for word of wisdom. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a scripture to follow up to understand it. Word of wisdom is seeing life from Yahweh's perspective, okay? Word of wisdom is a revelation gift. It is also the revealing of prophetic future. It is speaking of hidden truth of what is not known. The gift is received from Yahweh through prayer. You could be times you could be praying for something about someone, and the Holy Spirit will instantly reveal something to you about this particular person, and you will take that revelation, and you will give it to that person. They will look like, "Well, how did you know that?" That's the word of wisdom through the Holy Spirit. Now, sometimes people get that mixed up with prophecy and prophesying. So, through this teaching, you understand it. Let me give you a scripture that you can follow up that you can read. Um, this actually is Ephesians 1, chapter 1, 16 through 18. And you can even use this as a prayer if you want the Holy Spirit to give you the understanding of word of wisdom. So that you can, you want him to give you the word of wisdom. Or you want, you want him to perfect that gift. Let's read it. Cease not to give thanks uh, for your making mention of you in, in my prayers. That Yahweh our Lord, uh, our Father, Yeshua the Messiah, the Father of glory may give it unto give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understandings being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. That's giving you the understanding of the word of wisdom, and you can get it through prayer, okay? So we just went over the word of wisdom, and if you want to read again, you can read Ephesians um, 1, 17, and 18. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read Ephesians 1, 17, and 18 for you, because I always like people to hear the scripture and not just me telling you, okay? But here's what uh, I believe I've read that already. Yeah, I already read it to you already, so I won't, I won't go back into it. Let's go on to another gift. The next gift is going to be the word of knowledge. This is another gift where everybody totally gets mixed up with prophecy. Again, it works through the prophetic ministry. So it's under a prophetic anointing. But you got to understand there's a difference between prophesying a prophecy than the word of knowledge or the word of wisdom. Now, let's talk about the word of knowledge. Now, Word of knowledge is supernatural insight or understanding of circumstances, situations, problems, 
or a body of facts by revelation that is without assistance from any human resource but solely by divine aid which is the Holy Spirit the supernatural comprehension so again we talked about a word of wisdom now we're talking about a word of knowledge it's giving you insight as to what happened you ever see some people where they will begin to tell you like there's some people out there that's telling people the address where they live at, where they live, and people be like, "How did you know that? You have to be a prophet in order to, in order, to, in order to know where I live." I didn't tell you that. Well, the thing is, you don't have to be a prophet to get the word of knowledge, because the word of knowledge is just a supernatural insight and under, of understanding circumstances and problems in your life that the Holy Spirit revealed to a particular person. A person could flow real heavy. In a word of knowledge, and you will say that this person is the most powerful prophet I ever say because people don't understand what an actual prophet is. You know? But don't get the word of knowledge confessed with prophecy, even though it works with the gift of prophecy, okay? So you got the word of knowledge and um you got the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge, which are gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, um, let me give you a little tad bit about prophecy right fast. Um Prophecy is basically you speak, you, you're a mouthpiece. You're speaking from Yahweh Himself. He speaks through you and you speak directly to a person. That's when you are prophesying. It doesn't necessarily have to always have to be, you know, something that's uh, predicted in the future. Because that's what everybody thinks. If I predict the future, then I'm a prophet. Not necessarily. That's, that's, that's dealing with the gift of prophecy and it's dealing with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Totally different thing. But let me tell you another part, another part of our prophecy that people kind of overlook. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 3 says this But he that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. Those three words. To edify means to instruct or uh, or benefit or especially morally and spiritually to uplift. Exhortation, exhort, to urge, to advise or caution earnestly, admonish urgently, to give urgent advice recommendation or warning and comfort to soothe to console to reassure to bring cheer to aid or to support and to encourage this is part of prophesying you saying those type of things to up for it says for edification exhortation and to comfort and I gave you the definition of those that's part of prophesying that's what you do when you prophesy now I see a lot of people out here prophesying and they're speaking nothing but doom they're like prophets of doom this is going to happen to you. This is going to happen to you. It's not always you. So there is a time for judgment. And the Holy Spirit will give you the time of, this, of judgment. But you have to have the discernment. You have to be able to hear the Holy Spirit outside of your own personal emotions. But well, right now, I only touched on those two gifts. We're going to touch more on prophecy in the next teaching. I just want to give you a little nugget about it. So we talked about the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. And we touched on uh, prof to prophesy. So in the next lesson, we will go into the other gift. We will go into the design of the spirits and, you know, the laying of the hands, the, uh, the different languages and all the stuff, speaking the tongue. So I just want to give you those little nuggets. I'm telling you, I guarantee you, if you listen to those two little things, dig in and get the revelation for yourself, you'll be able to, to properly, effectively pray. And even when someone's giving you a word, you'll know what it is, a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. You have a blessed day. Again, my name is Pastor DeAndre Davenport. And you can like us on Facebook. It's called Spirit and Truth House of Worship. Leave your comment. Please read this video and tell more people about it. And if you need scriptures, just inbox me. Hallelujah. You have a blessed night.